Hello everyone and today we'll be looking at Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem is a mathematical theorem that is named after the Greek philosopher who came up with the theorem called Pythagoras who was born around 570 BC. In this video we'll be looking at the formula, how to substitute in values, and examples of exam questions. The formula. The formula is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. a squared and b squared can be either of the two sides. However, c squared is always, always the hypotenuse. It never changes. How to substitute in values. Here's an example of a right angle triangle. Although I've given you the length of all three sides, I will still show you how to input in your answers in order to get the length of the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the longest side of the triangle, which is also the diagonal line in the triangle. So you always state your formula which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Next, 6 squared plus 8 squared equals 10 squared. In a usual exam, you wouldn't have the 10 squared. It would have been c squared. Then after that, you write out what the, you work out what the square actually is. So 6 squared is 36 and 8 squared is 64 and 10 squared is 100. Add 64 and 36 to get 100. So 100 is identical to 100. So you see how using the, the formula a squared plus b squared equals c squared always finds the third length of a side for a right angle triangle. Now we're going to look at the first exam question. Find the length of side AC. Here's a diagram of the right angle triangle and I've labelled what we're looking for. In this example we'll be looking for C squared. First state your formula, always state your formula. Next you substitute your given values. So your given values are 4.8 squared plus 3.6 squared equals C squared. Next, you need to work out the squares. So 4.8 squared is 23.04 and 3.6 squared is 12.96. After you worked out your squares, then you add your squares together and that equals 36. So 36 is equal to C squared. Then you square root, you've got a number and C equals 6 which means that the side AC is equal to 6 centimeters, and that's how you would answer that kind of question. Exam question 2. Find the length of side AB. I've labelled what we're looking for. This time we're looking for A squared. So we've been given the hypotenuse and we need to find the length of a, of a side. First, always state your formula a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Next, you need to substitute in the given values. a squared plus 6.5 squared equals 17.55 squared. Then you have to subtract b squared from c squared. Then you rearrange the equation to get a squared equals 17.55 squared minus 6.75 squared. Then you work out your squares. So a squared equals 308.0025 minus 45.5625. After you've worked out your squares, you need to subtract your squares and a squared equals 262.44 afterwards you square root the number 
that you've gotten which is 262.44 and then A equals 16.2 which means that side AB is 16.2. I hope you found this video useful, please click on the subscribe and bell buttons for more content from this channel and if you found these videos useful also feel free to share. Thank you for watching.